crafter, thanks for being here. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how I made my son a coloring t-shirt. It is washable and reusable, and he is having so much fun with it. Open up Design Space and upload your coloring page. Resize to fit your t-shirt. My 4T was 6 by 7.6. Click Make it when you're ready, and don't forget to mirror your image for HTV or iron-on. Cut with shiny side down on the mat, and use setting everyday iron-on or whatever you use to cut your HTV. Weed your design, and because HTV is stretchier and easier to weed, I had my son actually help me with this part. There were some little tiny areas with intricate designs that were harder for him to do, so I would just start by pulling up some of the vinyl where there was enough for him to reach on those bigger areas, and then he would pull it the rest of the way off, and we had a lot of fun doing this together. Always follow the Easy Press guide for your material. My 5050 cotton poly blend required a 5 second preheat on 315 degrees. Do your best to line up your design on your t-shirt. I know there's lots of ways to make sure you're doing this perfectly, but I usually just wing it. <laughs> Again, always follow the Easy Press guidelines for your material. My 5050 cotton poly blend required a 315 degree heat press for 30 seconds on the front of the shirt. Flip the shirt over and press for 15 seconds on the same 315 degree heat. Again, you'll want to pay attention to the Easy Press guidelines for your specific material, Easy Press, and if you're using a mat or a towel. Flip the shirt back over and wait a second. Let's let it cool. Be patient. Always follow your Easy Press guidelines. For my 50-50 cotton poly blend, it's a cool peel. Once your transfer sheet is cool to the touch, you can remove it. Be careful. If any edges start to lift, you can simply press again to make sure everything is completely pressed into your t-shirt. You want some more red? Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. 